how we're doing today. So let's talk about uh, Kylian, Kylian Mbappe. According to reports yesterday, Kylian Mbappe has made his intention not to, to Paris Saint-Germain that he will be leaving this summer. Now, I so saw we have seen on all different kinds of social platforms from X, which is formerly called, called Twitter, to YouTube, to all the viable social platforms. Arsenal fans getting excited, say, yeah, we have to be in the composition. We have to try and get him. Now, I'm not going to deny the fact that Mbappe is one of the most exciting uh, players for me. Is the arguably the, for me not even arguably at the moment the best player available. Pure talent is the best player available, but unfortunately, this guy comes with a lot of baggage. It comes with a lot of shenanigans. It comes with a lot of uh, erraticness. As much as his talent is there for us to see, you can't argue about the quality of the player. Is is the highest of the highest, caliber wise. But football football goes beyond just talent alone. This guy is erratic. PSG could not control this guy. With all the finances available to PSG, they could not control this guy. For me, the only club that can seemingly, seemingly control this guy is Real Madrid. And that's where all the bets are on. Everybody's expecting him to go join Real Madrid. He was supposed to join Real Madrid two years ago before, in the last minute, he decided to uh, turn down Real Madrid and stay uh, with PSG for allegedly, for allegedly for the money. So I would have loved to have a player of that caliber without the shenanigans. But unfortunately, he comes with the shenanigans. The shenanigans is part of Mbappe. And I will not have a player like that come destroy what Arteta Asna Edward has built for the last two seasons. As much as he will make a difference on the pitch for us, he comes with too much baggage. I don't want him. And I'm surprised that Arsenal fans are actually buying into this possibility of Mbappe. Now, financially, can we afford him? I think so. The English friendship clubs are rich. I think Arsenal can afford him if they put their mind to it. But the other side of the aisle is the shenanigans and the erraticness. He's unpredictable. He's so explosive. He's a man-child. You don't want to bring that kind of player into the group. So as much as I would have loved Mbappe to be the jigsaw, the last piece of jigsaw, quote unquote, the, the, the natural cliche, the, the mainstream and the independent media like to run with, this guy is just so erratic for my he's just so erratic. There is no way the team will succeed with Mbappe. Yeah, there's no way. And the financial package he will demand for the erraticness. For me, it's a lose-lose. Now, some of you would disagree with me because you're looking based on the talent solely. I've made that statement. I'm going to reiterate it. The talent is fantastic. The talent is undeniable. I give the best player on earth right now. But the baggage too is undeniable. The erraticness is undeniable. The instability is undeniable. We've seen this episode with PSG for the last two, three years. Drama after drama. This is like Netflix version of football drama every week every week every month something's always going on with the national team with this club something's always going on his mom is interfering it's fa- something is always going on and you want him to come into this team that at the time is trying to enforce a, a, a togetherness a, a unity culture a culture of respectability you don't want this kind of player in, in, in your in your fold regardless of talent talent alone is not always the ultimate test it's not always the talent is undeniable, but the behavior, the person, for me, is, is absolute ass. That's my opinion. So uh, if you disagree, let me know why you would do everything to, to get Mbappe. And and if you're on my side, which you understand that Mbappe is the best player, but it comes with so much baggage, let's elaborate in, in, in the comment section. Because I don't want my channel to be an echo chamber. You are allowed to disagree, but let's disagree logically and sensibly. Let's disagree with, with some class. There's no need to trade insults. You are allowed to disagree, but let's do it with some class. So, like the video on your way out. Very, very important. Uh, subscribe yet. Subscribe. I appreciate that. And make sure you turn on your notification bell. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye for now.